How do you tell the Mahabharata? A story that spans the subcontinent, a work of literature that is the foundation of a culture and contains all the variety of the world in its pages. We are told that the epic came into being when poet Ved Vyas dictated it to Ganesha, the Lord of Beginnings. Both before and after that, many storytellers have retold the epic, giving it their own personal touch and bringing its many characters to life. The Mahabharata is the story of kings and queens. It is the story of heroes and villains. It is the story of a great all-consuming war that swallowed the subcontinent. Through the story of the characters of this epic, poets and storytellers have told the story of the spirit of India. Now it is our turn. Every Monday, Epified will bring you Karmic Revolution, a new take on the Mahabharata. Watch this canvas. He was king of the Yakshas, keeper of the world's gold, and remains a figure considered sacred by followers of Gautama Buddha. Between the 6th and the 16th centuries, temple building became something of an art form in India. Temples grew from being small shrines to large structures. 